Hello everyone, this is ASM Art Books, and today we'll be having a look at the things I bought at Anime Weekend Atlanta. Um, I thought I'd try my hand at a haul video because I love watching them and just seeing um, people's collections of like video game and anime merchandise and just a variety of different items. You know, I think it's um, we'll start with some figures that I got. The first thing I got was Zoro from One Piece Film Gold. And this was a really good price um, for this little figure. And um, One Piece Film Gold is definitely my favorite One Piece movie so far. Um, I actually got to see it in theaters um, for my birthday this year. It was really fun. It was, it was such a good movie. Great soundtrack, great villain. Um, so here's the other characters in this set. And I kind of wish I got Sanji, just because the price was really good, but I guess the only reason I didn't is I don't really like their outfits. There's been much more um, creative outfits in the other films. But I love Zoro, and I just wanted to get a figure of him, and um, ahead and put it together. So here he is. Um, his, his smile looks a little derpy compared to compared to the box, but that's okay. Um, he still looks really cool and um, one of my favorite parts about a convention is to just come home after a long day of walking and standing in line and oftentimes being in an uncomfortable cosplay. Um, just coming home and getting nice and cozy in bed and putting together all the figures I got. Um, there's something really relaxing about putting these guys together. Um, yeah, I don't know why, but it's just really satisfying and really fun for me. So that's Zoro. figure I got is Tony Tony Chopper. Um, he is um, in his human form here. And he's part of a set that I uh, was collecting for kind of a long time. And this is the rest of the set here. And I got um, the Zoro one probably at least five years ago at, um, maybe maybe even more than that at Anime Weekend Atlanta thinking that I would just get the rest of the set the next year and save some money but I did not see the rest of the set until just last year and I bought every one of them except for Chopper and the only reason I didn't buy him is because his human form is kind of kind of creepy to me. I really don't like it. His reindeer form is super, super cute, but his human form's a little weird. And, um, but having the, having the rest of the set, it seemed really stupid to not just buy the last figure. So, I found him this year and bought him. And, um, uh, I'll probably do a, uh, separate video where I show all my One Piece figures. So I've got I've got some cool ones. I think that would be kind of fun to do. So you'll see them all put together in that video. All right. And the next thing I got is Garp's um, Warship from One Piece. This is a snap together model kit that comes with uh, decals and everything's pre painted. And you can add fine details if you want to paint some stuff yourself. And I have a couple of these so far. There's a little picture on the side. Um, I've got the Polar Tang, uh, Trafalgar Lost Submarine. And, oh, it's not on here. I've got the uh, Going Mary. Um, and I want to, er, <laughs> not the Going Mary, the Thousand Sunny. I want to get the Going Mary. It's actually a deluxe version of 
this uh, ship that I'd really like. Um, it's about 40 bucks. There was a guy selling it at the con for 45 and I almost bought it. I was debating for a while, but I ended up getting this instead because this was only like 20 bucks. Um, and I'd also like to get the regular marine ship. Maybe Shanks' ship? I don't know. They just came out with some new ones that are, that are pretty cool. But I got Garps because, one, because Garp is awesome, and two, because his ship has such a cool design with the dog on the front and like the doghouse kind of thing. Um, and I love putting together these things. I've, I've loved um, Snap Together model kits for a long time. I think one of my first ones was Liger, Liger Zero from Zoids. Um, it was like robotic and it could, it could move when you put it together. It like walked. And that was really cool. Um, but now I'm just doing the one piece ships. I'm trying to keep small collections in everything that I have. But I'm really looking forward to putting this together. Alright. And I also got this real milk tea drink. Um, this is a popular drink that you'll find in uh, like Japan and Hong Kong. Um, you can find it in vending machines. Uh, any given restaurant in Hong Kong will have milk tea. Um, you can buy like instant powders to mix at home. And it's kind of hard to find, especially the, the powders. You can, you'll see these canned drinks in some like Asian grocery stores powders not so much. I've ordered them off Amazon a couple times. That's really the easiest way to get them that I've found. But it's like a semi-sweet, very milky tea drink. And I really, really, really love it. So, can't wait to, to drink that. I also got a um, lychee flavored Calpico. I don't know if I am pronouncing that right. Cal Calipco, Calpico. Um, drink, and then I, I drank that in like two seconds because I was so thirsty. I've been standing in line for like hours at that point. Um, and I also got some melon pan, um, which was really good. Um, <laughs> next is this kind of silly little guy. This is Banania. Um, this is just like a little car air freshener that Crunchyroll was giving out, um, just for free to promote, I guess, Banania, who is the kitty who lives in a banana. If you don't know in Japanese, cat, the cat meow sound is said nyan, nyan, so it's kind of a pun, banania. So this is just one of those little, like, five minutes interstitial material shows that they, yeah, used to promote cutesy characters, and it, <laughs> it's one of my favorites of the, the new breed cutesy characters. They had a giant, uh, banania plush that you could take a photo with, um, and I snagged one of these air fresheners for my friend, and she opened it, and it kind of smells like banana bread. It's a really nice smell, um, I kind of wish that I'd gotten a couple of these things. And now I'll show you some things I got from Artist Alley. The first thing is this Vanilla Rose Body Lotion. Um, and it was made by the girl who was selling it. And um, I'm really into like handmade organic bath and body products recently. Uh, I kind of discovered Lush. You can really tell the difference. You can feel it on your skin. You can tell it in the way your your skin looks. Um, what a difference handmade products make. And this has a very pleasant scent to it. And the girls running the shop were really nice. And um, there's their Etsy shop link if you're interested. They had a lot of um, geeky themed bath products, which was cool. And I'll show you the other thing I got from them. This. Toga P egg bath bomb, which has a plastic Pokemon figure inside. And um, I got this for 
a coworker who discovered bath bombs a few months ago, and we always kind of make fun of him for it, but, you know, we're, we're all, like, really good friends, and it's all in good fun. So, I got him this just kind of as a little gag gift. And they had a bunch of, um, like, Steven Universe-themed bath products, and just really fun, uh, nerdy-themed things, so you check them out if you're interested. Bill Cipher uh, bookmark. And it's printed with this like holographic paper, and um, it's kind of been a, a thing in Artist Alley recently to print things on like a shiny holographic paper. I think it's actually overdone a little bit, um, but for Bill, it makes perfect sense that it would be something gaudy and shimmery. So I really love this. And then on the back, it's got his angry, scary form. And I don't think, yeah, I don't have the name of this artist. Shoot. I always get like a pile of business cards and then at the end I can't tell who's who, so I just kind of follow them all on Tumblr and Twitter. Okay, the next thing I got was this art print from Boku no Hero Academia, or My Hero Academia, um, which I've been watching recently. It's kind of the new popular uh, shounen anime, and I've only been watching it for like a couple weeks, but it's really, really good. And um, this is All Might and his protege Midoriya, who's just absolutely adorable. And uh, I really enjoy All Might's human form. Um, he's just such a Cool looking character, like a very unique character design. Um, and it's a really fun show. If you haven't checked it out yet, I recommend it. And um, I don't have this, nope, nothing on the back. I don't have this artist's um, info either, but I really like this style, so hopefully I'll be able to figure out which business card is theirs. A lot of the artists this year were running out of business cards, so I didn't get everyone's uh, contact info like I usually do. But hopefully I'll be able to find them. Um, this is the next thing I got. It's a uh, pug that <laughs> says, you are the greatest. Super, super cute. And this is a gift for uh, one of my friends. He has a pet pug and he is just a really great, super nice guy. So I just kind of wanted to get him something. <laughs> so I just thought that was cute. Oh, and the artist is uh, Madeline Rupert. She's got some really cool art. She's got um, a web comic um, called Sakana about like guys that run a fish stall in Japan. Um, she's really cool. And next thing I got is this necklace, which is really, really beautiful. Um, this is a gift for a friend who likes mermaids and Lolita kind of stuff, so um, hopefully she likes this. And this vendor had a lot of really, really beautiful jewelry. I kind of regret not buying something from her. She had a lot of this um, gold jewelry with like the sparkles and the, um, I don't know if that's like pink gel or something in the, in the middle. She had a lot of like cat and planet themed jewelry, like space and planets, um, so I'll definitely check out her Etsy shop. And I bought one more thing from her. And that is this necklace that says, hold me with your yaoi hands. And it's got the long fingered yaoi hands on the side. Um, and if you don't know what yaoi hands are, just Google it and you will have a grand time discovering <laughs> what this meme is. Um, but this is also a gift to her for a friend, so I know she'll, she'll love that. So, if you're interested in that jewelry I just showed you, here's where you can find that. And it's got some other 
examples of her jewelry here. Next thing I got, um, this is a little embarrassing. This is um, a art print that I made myself. Um, it's of Mass Effect, and um, the voice actors for Commander Shepard and Liara were at the convention, so I decided to print this off and get them to sign it, and hopefully I can get the signatures of everyone in the future. Um, this is something that I created for a Mass Effect t-shirt design contest. And um, I ended up winning, and if you like this design, you can get it on welovefine.com um, That's, um, that they're rebranding right now, so you, you might have to google buy fans for fans um, I don't know if they've changed their web address or if they're going to, but that's where you can find it And, um, so this is Jennifer Hale's signature up here. She's the voice actress for Commander Shepard. And this is Allie Hillis. She's the voice actor for Liara. And they were both super, super nice. I really am glad that I got to meet them. And, um, I believe Tally's voice actor comes to Dragon Con sometimes, so hopefully I'll be able to get her. Um, and I don't know... I think his voice actor's Brandon Keener? Brandon somebody? Maybe? Um, I don't know if he ever goes to conventions, but hopefully I'm able to, to get all of them in the future. Okay, this is the last thing I got. This is The Answer from Steven Universe. Um, it's a storybook that kind of retells the story of an episode of the same name. And it's the backstory of Garnet, who's made up of Sapphire and Ruby. And um, on the back, it says, Why would a gem turn against her homeworld to protect the messy, pointless planet Earth? What would make an aristocratic gem risk everything for a common card? And how could a humble soldier alter the track of fate forever? Sapphire and Ruby to find the answer. And it's a really beautiful story, and I will be showing um, the whole book on my uh, in a separate video. But the artwork is really cool, really stylized, and it's meant to be like Golden Books storybook kind of style. And it's just a really sweet story. I'll show you that in its entirety later. And that is everything I got at Anime Weekend Atlanta. So, I hope you enjoyed looking through this with me. Um, I'm sorry I didn't have all the info for the uh, artist materials I got. I really um, hope to promote them. Maybe if I can figure out who's business cards belong to who. I'll put links in the uh, description. Um, so anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed looking through my treasures with me, and uh, have a good evening. Thank you.